What's going on today, YouTube? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, but I can tell you things are about to get a whole lot better for you because if you love giving people permanent dirt naps and you're tired of tickling them on the belly in Warzone, now it's time to get serious. We thought it was the Ram 7, the Amax, the Stoner 63. I'm gonna tell you guys, it's the Farrah 83. This gun's for real. This gun's putting people under the dirt, under the radar, Pushing up daisies. Thanks so much for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe, tap that bell notification so you guys know when I go live and check me out over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey. Let's get right into it. Guys, I did a video on the Stoner 63 and man, that gun is good. It's the only gun I've been using besides the Ram 7, which is my OG go-to gun that I've been using since the day Warzone came out pretty much. The only other gun I've used anywhere near as much as the Ram 7 is the Amax, and I don't use it anymore. I never use the Kilo hardly ever, and the Growl I only used a few times. I've always been a Ram 7 lover. It's the OG of OGs. And that is until the Stoner 63 came around. I started using that and realized it's just as good in a lot of ways, but doesn't quite have the long-range accuracy of the Ram 7. Then the Farah 83 gets buffed and it was already a very powerful gun and now it's even better. It's better than the Ram 7 in almost every way. After the buff, there's less recoil. It's easier recoil to manage than the Ram 7 for almost everybody. Instead of having that horizontal recoil pattern the Ram 7 has, this is pretty much completely vertical and there's not a whole lot of it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what attachments you need to minimize the recoil and get the most damage range possible. This gun is legendary. It's just like shredding people across the map. I got two Warzone wins back to back with the Farah. That's right, the Fair 83 gave me back-to-back -back Warzone wins. Oh my God, it's just like putting people in the ground. It's piling them bodies up. Piling them right up. Bam! In the dirt. Permanently. Like never coming back, ever. You guys want to know how to put them bodies in the dirt in Warzone? I'm going to show you guys my loadout. Thanks for stopping in, guys. I mean, it's been pretty killer with this gun. I mean, I think it's just straight up broken, and it's only a matter of time before it gets nerfed. All right, guys, here's the loadout. GRU suppressor, 19.5 inch liberator. Don't use the takedown as it's gonna take your range away, but you can if you're in smaller quarters combat. Axial arms three times for the scope. Spetsnaz grip, which is gonna reduce that horizontal and vertical recoil. It's the best grip. Believe me, it's going to eliminate most, if not all of the recoil that's gonna be unmanageable. And that's what really makes this gun even better. And as far as ammunition, the Spetsnaz 60 round, highly recommend it unless you are a very accurate player. I mean, like basically aimbotting at this point because there's been quite a few times where I've killed somebody, went to kill a second person, and just as I got the second kill, I ran out of ammo. You really will need 60 rounds, especially if they're far away and you're trying to hit a sniper. I ran into that situation as well, and it saved me to have the extra 15 or extra 10 rounds. Trust me, run the 60 round magazine. Oh shit. Ah. 
Yeah. Woo! Holy f <laughs> oh god. The Ferris. Oh shit. Woo! Get lit, bitches. You wanna beam me, bitch? You wanna flashbang me, bitch? Woo! Get lit! What the fuck is this? Oh shit, specialist done. Specialist achieved. Wait, no way he didn't have any armor plates. <laughs> this guy is fucking nasty. Woo! Nasty, boys. Nasty. So good. Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. Right. 
I can throw. That's how it's done, boys! 14 fucking kills, baby! Woo! Let's get it, bitch! Woo! That's how we talk about the bear is lit! Yeah, boy! Woo! Alright, alright. GG's everybody in the lobby. GG's. You're not gonna mount a window and laser beam me, bitch. It ain't fucking happening. Oh, uh, no. No thanks. Not feeling it, bro. Better now. Oh my god. 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 My god. My god. Pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. This, this Farah, even in non loadout form, is good. Like, even when my aim is straight, it doesn't have the accuracy the Ram has. It just doesn't. Okay. 
It kept making me go back in the car. I don't know why. <laughs> this gun is so good. This gun is like a two tapper. 100%. Don't be, don't be peeking, my dude. Don't peek me like that. That's my best, that's my best, at, um, I would say is quality or asset in this game is my long range aim with an assault rifle. I can beam people pretty damn good. That's my strong suit. My indoor maneuverability is what I'm working on the most and map awareness is getting better, but that right there is my strong suit. Oh shit. in the safe zone.
got gas moving in. Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. Enemy precision airstrike. Take cover. Second win of the day, bitches. Woo! Yeah, boy. Get lit. That's how you play smart, mofos. All right. We're at two dubs for the day. Two dubs. Appreciate that, Top Doggy. It's been a little bit tough on me last couple weeks because I had bad servers. That was GG's, boys. GG.